The new Glenn, named for John Glenn, is a heavy lift orbital launch vehicle in development by Blue Origin. Design work on the vehicle began in 2012. The vehicle itself, and the high-level specifications, were initially publicly unveiled in September 2016. New Glenn is described as a two-stage rocket with a diameter of 7 meters 23 feet. Its first stage will be powered by seven B-4 engines that are also being designed and manufactured by Blue Origin. Like the new Shepard suborbital launch vehicle that preceded it, the new Glenn's first stage is designed to be reusable. Blue Origin aims to launch New Glenn in 2021. Topic. History After initiating the development of an orbital rocket system prior to 2012, Blue Origin publicly announced their orbital launch vehicle plans in September 2015. In January 2016, Blue Origin indicated that the new rocket would be many times larger than New Shepard even though it would be the smallest of the family of Blue Origin orbital vehicles. Blue Origin publicly released the high-level design of the vehicle and announced the name New Glenn in September 2016. Topic. Early development work on orbital subsystems Blue Origin began developing systems for orbital human spacecraft prior to 2012. A reusable first-stage booster was projected to fly a suborbital trajectory, taking off vertically like the booster stage of a conventional multi-stage rocket. Following stage separation, the upper stage would continue to propel astronauts to orbit while the first-stage booster would descend to perform a powered vertical landing similar to the New Shepard suborbital vehicle. The first stage booster was to be refueled and launched again, allowing improved reliability and with the goal of lowering the cost of human access to space, the booster rocket was projected to loft Blue Origin's Biconic Space Vehicle capsule to orbit, carrying astronauts and supplies. After completing its mission in orbit, the space vehicle was designed to re-enter Earth's atmosphere and land under parachutes on land, to be reused on future missions. Engine testing for the then-named Reusable Booster System RBS launch vehicle began in 2012. A full power test of the thrust chamber for Blue Origin B-3 liquid oxygen, liquid hydrogen upper stage rocket engine, BE-3U, was conducted at a NASA test facility in October 2012. The chamber successfully achieved full thrust of 100,000 pounds force, about 440 kilonewtons. By early 2018, it was announced that the BE-3U Hydrolox engine would power the second stage of the new Glenn. Topic. Orbital launch vehicle Design work on the vehicle began in 2012, with the beginning of B-4 engine development. Further plans for an orbital launch vehicle were made public in 2015. By March 2016, the rocket was referred to by the placeholder name of Very Big Brother. It was stated to be a two-stage to orbit liquid propellant rocket, with the launcher intended to be reusable. In early 2016, Blue Origin indicated that the first orbital launch was expected no earlier than 2020 from the Florida Launch Facility, and in September 2017 continued to forecast a 2020 debut. The vehicle itself, and the high-level specifications, were initially publicly unveiled in September 2016. New Glenn was described as a 7-meter diameter, 23 feet, 2 or 3-stage rocket, with the first and second stages being liquid methane, liquid oxygen, methylox, designs using Blue Origin engines. The first stage will be powered by seven Blue Origin B-4 engines, while the second stage was to have been powered by a single upper stage variant of that same basic design. The first stage is reusable and will land vertically, just like the New Shepard suborbital launch vehicle that preceded it. The third stage of the initial design was to have used a single B-3 Hydrolox engine. 
Although these plans would subsequently change, the 2016 plans called for the first stage to be powered by Blue Origins B4 single-shaft oxygen-rich staged combustion liquid methane, liquid oxygen rocket engine, while the second stage would be powered by a vacuum variant of the B4, the BE-4U. Blue Origin announced that they intended to launch the rocket from Launch Complex 36, and manufacture the rockets at a new facility being built after 2015 on nearby land in Exploration Park. Acceptance testing of the B-4 engines was also announced to be planned for Florida. By 2018 the launch vehicle design had changed. It was announced that the new Glenn second stage will now be powered by two vacuum versions of the flight-proven BE-3U tap-off cycle liquid hydrogen, liquid oxygen rocket engine with a single B-3U engine for the third stage deep space option. A single B-3 engine is being used in the suborbital New Shepard rocket. The three-stage booster variant was announced as no longer planned to be offered as an option. Blue explained in the 12th of September 2016 announcement that the rocket would be named New Glenn in honor of the first American astronaut to orbit the Earth, John Glenn. Three weeks of wind tunnel testing of a scale model New Glenn were completed in September 2016 in order to validate the CFD design models of transonic and supersonic flight. In March 2017, Jeff Bezos showed graphics of the new Glenn which had four large strakes rotatable fins at the bottom of the booster not shown in the September 2016 images top right in the September 2017 announcement blue announced a much larger payload fairing for new Glenn this one 7 meters 23 feet in diameter up from 5.4 meters 18 feet in the originally announced design by mid 2018 the low level design was not yet complete and the likelihood of achieving an initial launch by 2020 was being called into question by company engineers customers industry experts and journalists in February 2019, Blue indicated that no plans to build a reusable second stage are even on the company's roadmap. In October 2018, the Air Force announced Blue Origin was awarded $500 million for development of New Glenn as a potential competitor in future contracts, including EELV Phase 2. By February 2019, multiple launches for New Glenn had been contracted, five for OneWeb, an unspecified amount of Telesat, one each for Utilsat, Mu Space Corp and Sky Perfect JSAT. Topic: Description and technical specifications. The new Glenn is a 7 meter diameter, 23 feet, two-stage orbital launch vehicle with a reusable first stage and an expendable second stage. An optional third stage was envisaged with a single BE-3U engine, and was planned as of October 2018. The first stage is designed to be reusable for up to 100 missions, and will land vertically, a technology previously developed by Blue Origin and tested in 2015-2016 on its New Shepard suborbital launch vehicle. The second stage will share the same diameter as the first and use two BE-3U vacuum-optimized engines. It will use hydrogen, oxygen as propellant and will be expendable. This engine is manufactured by Blue Origin. The company has revealed the planned full operational payload capacity of the two-stage version of New Glenn as 13,000 kg pounds to GTO and 45,000 kg pounds to a 51.6 degree inclined LEO, though the initial operating capability may be somewhat lower. Dual satellite launches will be offered after the first five flights. Both stages will use orthograd aluminum tanks with welded aluminum domes and common bulkheads. Both stages will also use autogenous pressurization. The first stage will be powered by 7B4 methane, oxygen engines. Designed and manufactured by Blue Origin. Producing 17,000 kilonewtons, 3,800,000 lbf of liftoff thrust. The second stage will be powered by two BE-3U engines, also designed and manufactured by Blue Origin. 
B3 user and expander cycle variant of the B3 engine are explicitly designed for use in upper stages. Preliminary design numbers from 2015 projected the BE3U to have a vacuum thrust of 670 kN 150,000 lbf. Launches of the new Glenn are planned to be made from Spaceport Florida Launch Complex 36, which was leased to Blue Origin in 2015. A launch site at Vandenberg Air Force Base is also planned. New Glenn will also be available for space tourism flights, with priority given to customers of New Shepard. The first stage boosters of New Glenn are intended to be reusable, and will be recovered downrange on the Atlantic Ocean via the Blue Origin landing platform ship acting as a floating movable landing platform. The hydrodynamically stabilized ship increases the likelihood of successful recovery in rough seas. Topic. Manufacturing The main assembly of the new Glenn launch vehicle will occur in the Blue Origin Rocket Manufacturing Facility in Florida, near Launch Complex 36 which the company leased from Spaceport Florida. Tooling and equipment for the factory began to be ordered and built in 2015. In July 2018, the build of the largest device, a 16-meter tall, 51 feet times 41 meter long, 136 feet times 13 meter wide, 43 feet Ingersoll Mongoose cryogenic tank and fairing fabrication machine, was completed after a three-year design-build process. It will be installed in the Florida facility in Exploration Park later in 2018. As of September 2018, Blue had invested over $1 billion in its Florida manufacturing facility and launch site, and intends that much more going forward. Topic. Launch services Blue will offer both single payload dedicated flights and, after the fifth launch, dual manifesting of large comsats to be transported to geostationary transfer orbit. All contracted launches from the start will feature a reusable first stage, so just like the practice in commercial aircraft transport, landing conditions can affect the timing and flight parameters of a launch. Topic. Launch service customers By 2018, Blue Origin had contracts in place with four customers for New Glenn flights. Utilsat, Thailand startup Mu Space Corp and Sky Perfect JSAT have geosynchronous orbit comsat launches planned after 2020, while Internet Satellite Constellation Fleet Operator OneWeb has an agreement for 5 launches. In January 2019, Telesat signed a multi-launch contract to launch satellites for its future low Earth orbit broadband constellation on multiple New Glenn missions and thus is Blue's fifth customer. Topic. Schedule-oriented launch cadence Blue intends to contract for launch services a bit differently than contract options that have been traditionally offered in the commercial launch market. The company has stated they will contract to aim to have a regular launch cadence of up to eight times a year. If one of the payload providers for a multi-payload launch is not ready on time, Blue will hold to the launch timeframe, and fly the remaining payloads on time at no increase in price. This is different from how dual launch manifested contracts have been traditionally handled by Ariane Space, Ariane V and Ariane 6, and Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, HIIA and H3. SpaceX and international launch services can offer dual launch contracts, but prefer dedicated missions. Topic. Funding The development and manufacture of the new Glenn is being funded by Jeff Bezos, founder of Amazon.com, and the U.S. Air Force. 
New Glenn will receive $500 million in funding under the National Security Space Launch NSSL program. By September 2017, Bezos had invested $2.5 billion into New Glenn. See also